When they eat churches, they want to lay hands on somebody. Right. They want to speak in counterfeit tongues. Wow. They want to release demons. But how can you make America great again if you don't get on your face and repent? What's a just God supposed to do? If he does nothing, he is, in a sense, giving consent to the right. sin. When the government dictates what religion is, our morals will be stripped. Well, they're setting it up for you guys, the younger generation, to take the hit. They see a church that's on fire for God. Mm -hmm. That's the church that gets targeted. You're in a worship saying, praise Jesus. We are the army of God. We'll dare to discuss what most churches never will and strive always to speak the truth in love. We are watchmen, warriors, victors. Together, we will fight the good fight and finish strong. This is David Hebner Live. Hey everybody, David with you. So good to be with you every Monday, 7 p.m. You know, because you, you're family, right? We can talk about these things. The church just, well, they just refuse to talk about. I can breathe. Thank you very much. I love you guys. Okay. <laughs> My guest says that, you know, most Christians never look up, right? They never look up. It, isn't that true? Do you ever look up? As a, I mean, I'm talking look up, look up in the sky. What do we see? What do we see? Stars? Planets? Things that are, you know, floating around in, in the universe? Maybe a, maybe another galaxy? There's many people that, that say they see spaceships, uh, UFOs, unidentified flying objects. Now, we know that whatever is made, God created. God created everything. We understand that. It's in Scripture. So the question is, is there life out there? If he created us, could he have created a, uh, uh, a, a, another galaxy, a, 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 a metaverse, a, a, another existence where there's uh, other life forms? And what about these UFO sightings? I mean, we're talking thousands, thousands and thousands of documented cases. Over 200, and I'm talking about documented 200 documented cases from the military. And when I mean document, has to be certified, verified, stamped. And now you've got the news talking about it. Mainstream news talking about there are unidentified, unidentified objects out there in space. So the question is, if it's true, which we're going to talk about tonight, who are they? What do they want? What's their agenda? Are they real as far as in the flesh, as far as you can, you can touch and feel them? Or are they spiritual? Are they demonic? Are they angels? Could it have anything to do with end times prophecy? What's happening now? This is what we will call disclosure, and I'm going to talk about this with my guests. The coming Antichrist, which Bible clearly depicts, does the Antichrist have anything to do with this disclosure? My guest says it's not extraterrestrial, it's interdimensional. Mr. L.A. Marzulli, L.A., you there, buddy? I certainly am. Thanks for having me on, David. Good, to have, good to have you back, my friend. Uh, L.A., we've been down the road on interviews. We've talked about so many things. Um, I, I want I want to read a scripture. You said it's your favorite scripture. It's one of mine. Uh, uh, Colossians 1 16. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible, invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. LA, that scripture right there kind of defines my interview with you tonight. Um, we know that God made everything. The question is, these things that people are seeing, what, what say you? What are they? And, and, the, and the tagline to that is, and he is before all things. And this, this next part is my favorite. And he holds all things together. Ooh, ooh. I like that. <laughs> uh, I love that. I love because He holds all things together. Absolutely. Um, what we're looking at, 
Uh, first of all, I do not believe in the plurality of worlds. Um, we don't know what this thing is. Uh, we don't know, and you've heard me say this a gazillion times at conferences, if, if America is analogous to uh, the universe, is planet Earth in Dallas? Is it in Los Angeles, New York, Boston? I mean, we have no idea where we are or what this is. Right. We really don't. We have no idea, nor does anyone else. Um, right. So we don't know where we come from. When we look at the complexity of the deoxyribonucleic acid, the double helix of life, the spiral of life, the DNA, molecular structure, we all, I think, can agree that it's hey, a very complex coding system which just didn't fall out of a tree or somehow create itself from nothing in a primordial swamp. Not going to happen. There's, yeah. there's, there's a designer here, and this is why your scripture, all things were created in heaven and earth, uh, visible and invisible, thrones, dominions, powers, authorities. This is exactly what we see. He's before all things. He holds all things together. All things were created through him, through yeah. Jesus. And this is why when you go a little further down, he is the, he is the head of the body of a church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he would be preeminent in all things. It's just mind-blowing. For in yeah. him, the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, uh, and, and through him to reconcile to himself all things on earth and in heaven. So, I mean, this making peace by the blood of his cross. So we're in this cosmic, this cosmic war which has been ongoing, raging in other dimensions and spilling out over to planet Earth. I do not believe in the plurality of worlds. I think this is it. The New Jerusalem comes to planet Earth. Jesus incarnates on planet Earth. He rules in the millennium on planet Earth for a thousand years. And then he creates a new heaven and a new Earth. The question is, what is that? Is that is it a recreation, as some people believe? Does he restore it, or does he roll it up like a scroll? And, and we don't know. But what we do see, and this is the, um, unless we understand Genesis 3.15, when we come to all these other passages, and certainly talking about the UFO phenomenon, with all of its different parts and, 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 and uh, segments to it, which create the whole pie, as it were, unless we understand Genesis 3.15, in my opinion, we're completely, utterly clueless to understand what's going on uh, all around us and what has gone on throughout the biblical narrative. And Genesis 3.15 talks about the seed war, that the seed of a dragon will be at war at enmity with the seed or offspring of the woman. The offspring of the woman will crush the dragon's head. That is Jesus. That's the Proto-Evangelium. That's the first, the first term, or first, the first time we hear the good news. It's the first prophecy in the Bible, talking about that seed, offspring of the woman coming forth and crushing a dragon's head. But it says the offspring of the dragon, the seed of the dragon, will be at enmity. So it's all about procreation and a seed war. Um, most people have never heard that. The churches, for the most part, don't teach it. And so when we get to things like um, passages like the Tower of or Genesis 6, where the Nephilim are on the earth, and then the flood ensues to wipe them all out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, I thought God was a loving God. Why does he wipe out the whole planet? Because the Nephilim are here. Because they've been here for 40 years, and only eight people were saved who were, it says in the text, were pure in all their generations. So Noah's pure in all his generations. Something is going on. It's there. But unfortunately, because the church, for the most part, has adopted the goofy Sethite theory, which tries to explain, well, the sons of God are the sons of Seth, and you know, the daughters of, of, of men are really the hoochie mamas of Cain, but that's not what the text says. They just insert that, and it has nothing to do with anything, and then they, they go off. And so, no, 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 angels can't have sex. Nowhere does it say that. It yeah, says, but like the angels, not given in marriage. So it's a whole, this is my life's work, what has become my life's work, and I've dedicated, you know, the rest of my life to this, which is why we create films on this, which is why we're on the trail of a Nephilim to show that there is a hidden history that's been deliberately obfuscated from the peoples of the world. But there's a clip I think I sent to you, which, you know, it just shows Tucker Carlson and me showing what was actually on Tucker Carlson, the rungs of the ladder of disclosure. So the first- right, right. Yeah. Oh, Before I get into disclosure, I want to back up for an audience that sure. might be new, new to this whole thing, LA. Um, it, it, the the things people are spotting these ufos okay uh, uh sightings 101 these are demonic beings correct 
this is where it gets very complex. I would say okay. for the most part, what we're looking at is uh, and are these crafts are from a second heaven. They are um, inhabited by fallen angels and demons. That's what that's what we're looking at. Uh, but okay, it's it more complicated than that. But let's just leave yeah, it. Yeah. That's the base. Okay. Are they physical and they're inhabited by these demon by these spirits, or do you think they have morphed into what these beings look like? What people see? No, they they are, in my opinion, they are absolutely uh, inhabited by these entities, um, along okay. with the rays. And uh, yeah, they they do things that are that defy our physics. The way they fly in these ships. Right. So what you're talking about, this is just uh, powers. Uh, uh, we're talking about powers in the second heaven. For those Correct. of you, the third heaven is the heaven. The second heaven is where Satan and all the realm, uh, uh, you know, participate. And what you're saying is these beings come out of that second heaven. Now they're coming and they're 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 coming on Earth and they're here for what reason? What's what do you think is their agenda, uh, L.A., uh, their main agenda? Well, the basic agenda is to create a hybrid race. That's they're mingling their seed. Second chapter of Daniel says this. This is why it's so important. If we don't understand Genesis three fifteen, when we get to Daniel, well, I have no idea what they're talking about. Daniel says, "Seal up the book." You know, the angel says to Daniel, "Seal up the book until the time of the end. Men and women will go to and fro over the face of the earth. Knowledge will increase." That's where we are now. But until that period of time, the book of Daniel was a sealed book sealed book now it's okay. open so when we read chapter two we come to an understanding when it says their seed will mingle with the seed of men but they shall not cleave to them who are they it can't be the seed of men so it only leaves one other one other choice that we have it's either well actually two tongue and cheek it's either the martians are doing this or it's their seed which hells back to genesis 3 15 genesis 6 Sodom and Gomorrah, the conquest of Canaan, it's all throughout the biblical narrative. At the cross, boom, the power of a dragon is broken. Right. At least in part. And this is why Jesus has, when he opens up that seal in the book of Revelation, you know, the Lamb of God is worthy to open up that book, un undo it, open it up, and read it. And Gary Stearman believes, as I do, that it's an indictment against planet Earth and against the fallen ones. So this is what we're up against. Wow. And it's a when you say LA, when you say mingle their seed, right now they're mingling their seed. How are they doing that? What what are they mingling their seed with? Who is it with? How how are they doing it? I just got off the phone with a woman, uh, very unnerving interview, uh, lifelong abductee, abducted many times until she became a strong born again Christian. And then she broke it. And that's what we hear over and over again. There is a way out. When, when a person calls upon the name of Jesus in that realm, in that, look, we, how many times have we heard where they're, you're about to have a car wreck and someone goes, Jesus, help, and all of a sudden they go through the other car and they're down the road. How did that happen? So yeah. we know miracles happen. We know right. sometimes they don't. Tim Alberino would say, well, you know, the other side of that is all the Christians that are being beheaded and they're on their knees uh, on the shores of the Mediterranean and they're, they're praying to Jesus and nothing happens. There is no angel which parts the sky. I get that. It's complex. But it seems like with the abduction phenomenon, when people call out to the Lord, that are, that are, they stop it. They stop the abduction. And that was uh, that's the interviews that I've done with all these people in our fourth upcoming film, UFO, the abduction phenomena. That's what they all talk about. Okay. So when we come back, I want to talk to you about abduction. And when I said mingle their seed, I'm going to ask you, don't answer me now, LA, but I'm going to ask you, is part of the abduction, especially when they abduct women, is that part of mingling their seed? Absolutely. No, all day don't, don't answer. We're going to come back and talk about it, brother. Okay. Well, we'll be right back. We're talking to LA Marzulli and, uh, uh, hey, you guys, I want you to stick around, okay, and go sign up to David Hebner TV because we're going underground. We're going to talk about things that I think probably I've never talked about. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and my employees and I want to thank each and every one of you for your support by bringing you the My Pill that started it all. 
My Pillow's patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs regardless of your sleep position. Because it works, we've sold over 70 million My Pillows and now I'm bringing it to you for the lowest price ever. For example, you get my standard My Pillow now only 19.88 with your promo code. Now's the time to get them for your friends, your family, your neighbors, everyone you know. My Pillows make the best gifts ever. In the times we're in, one thing we all need is getting a great night's sleep. So go to MyPillow.com or call that number on your screen now. Use your promo code and you'll get my standard MyPillow for only $19.88. For a more custom fit, my Premium Queen, only $24.98. Or my Premium King, only $29.98. This is a limited time offer, so order now. Life is complicated enough. Why worry about what to do with your extra car? Skip the costs of maintaining it, storing it, insuring it, or renewing registration. Car repairs? Forget about it. Here's one easy solution to your car problem. Donate it to a nonprofit. It's fast, free, tax deductible, and if you donate, you're going to feel incredible knowing you're supporting a great cause. Interested? Just call this toll-free number or donate online. Thank you. Um, listen, we have the new End Times DVD. Um, it uh, investigates uh, End Times investigation. I have a lot of my friends on here, uh, Lisa Haven, Michael Lake. Uh, I have Josh Peck, L.A. Marzulli, uh, Stephen Bancroft. I mean, eight hours of, of me investigating things like Satanism, demonic powers, Illuminati, New World Order, Antichrist, One World Religion, End Times Miracles, Bible Prophecy. Folks, let me tell you something. One day... What you're watching us on right now, it's called, well, it's called television, it's called social media, it's called the internet. They're going to turn that baby off. You need a hard asset. When all this stuff gets shut off, this is what, what you're going to be able to, to learn from and to understand. So I want you to uh, text the word CHOSEN to 91999 or go to davidhevener.tv forward slash order or call 844-806-0006. Hey everybody, David back with you. Hey, um, if you haven't, go to davidhebner.tv, sign up right now, because we're going to go underground. We're going to talk to L.A. Marzulli. You can ask him questions, raise your hand, make some comments. If you go to David Hebner TV, you'll find we have an original programming channel with special interview on L.A. Marzulli. He talks about UFOs and Bible prophecy. It's the interviews I've done with him. You can com catch the complete uh package there on davidhevener.tv. I want to roll a clip of a new show that we've got on there, David Hevener Investigates, 30-second clip on aliens, demons, and abduction, uh, talking about disclosure. Let's roll that, uh, Spencer. There's a practice, an ancient practice, where one's spirit leaves their body. It's called astral projection. Okay, so dreams. That, could this be a form of... Astral projection. I can tell you that practitioners on the other side, yeah, and ex Satanists will tell you what I'm going to say. Okay. We target your dreams. A woman woke up. She felt the presence of something in the doorway yeah. that was trying to. They've made many, many movies about aliens, but the question is, are they angelic or demonic? Why don't they want to acknowledge? Uh, the supernatural. Uh, the seminary education today, that when pastors are being trained, there's no emphasis on the supernatural, even though the Bible is a supernatural book. As in the days, days of no, uh, so it will be. Yeah. And it goes down to, well, what is their ultimate purpose? Inaugurate the Antichrist. All right, so that clip you just saw is uh, from a new show, David Hevner Investigates. You can catch it only on davidhevner.tv on the original programming channel. It's the alien demon connection. What is it? The abduction talks about abduction, talks about uh, the disclosure. And I have my guest on, uh, on that particular show, and he's with me tonight. Uh, L.A., are you there with me, buddy? I certainly am, David. All right. So we, b before we close out the last segment, we talked about abduction. Um, we mentioned it and we also, I asked you a question on, um, on the seed. They're here to, uh, mingle their seed talking about these demons, the, these demonic beings. Um, when people are abducted, which I want to get into the detail with you, but when, especially women, 
when they are abducted, is there an agenda to impregnate these women to 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 mingle the seed? Absolutely. There's a. Uh, uh, this is part of my when I when I saw this on Fox News, I about fell out of my chair. So Brett Bear on his show is discussing and and stating on the record that some women who who are taken aboard UFOs find themselves pregnant. Now that's really bizarre. They run the story. That's the headline, but they don't go into it. They don't, you know, talk about it. They don't bring someone like me who's been studying it for decades, telling them this is a seed where it goes back to the, they just hang it in front of the audience and then let it fall. Right. Um, but there it is. That's Fox news. That's not George Norrie coast to coast. Right. Okay? right. That's Fox news. And they do it on Fox because most of Fox's, although that's changing, most of Fox's audience are conservative Christians. I mean, it's uh, safe to say that conservative Christians watch Fox News, but that's right. beginning to change. And a lot of conservative Christians realize that, oh, Fox is, you know, run by these guys and, you know, it is what it is. But that's another story. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's right there. It's all yeah. part of the greeting, well, greeting program. Well, and it goes back to the Genesis 315 narrative. So what are they trying to do? They want to impregnate these women. They want to mingle their seed to these women. They want these women to birth a little de demonic babies. No, that's not what happens. The woman is taken usually at 10 to 12 weeks towards the end of the first trimester. Right. She's reabducted, taken, and the baby is taken. Uh, okay. in, our, in our fourth film on UFOs, we sit down with Karen, who was taken at a very early age, and she was impregnated by them three times, and she lost the baby the baby was taken from her three times. That's, and I've heard this over and over and over and over and over again, literally now for decades. That's yeah. the way it is. And what, the end, what do they do with these babies, LA, when they take they're, them? They're hybrids. They're, they're part, the DNA, the seed has been mingled. And I remember asking Chuck Missler this very question, you know, years and years ago. And I said, Chuck, what do you think the end game is here? Without hesitation, Chuck Messler said, Satan is outnumbered two to one. He's building an army. And now we know that these so-called hybrid entities are integrating into the population. How do we know that? Because people see them. People interact with them. And it's going to become more, more and more, not less and less, but more and more. As time okay. Goes. So let's say the hybrid's a baby. Uh, it's part human, part of the de demon seed that was put in Rosemary's baby. And it grows up, and it's 20, 25 years old. You're actually, do they have a, a birth certificate? Do they have a, a way to arrange to make these people have a real life? I mean, you, you following me? How are they making that? Social security number, all that. Hey, hello. Oh, sorry. He, according to Dr. David Jacobs, and he's been in in this field and and looking at it. His book called "Walking Amongst Us" talks right. about the integration of hybrids. So okay. we've heard all sorts of stories from people, but Dr. Jacobs says this, and I realize this will sound bizarre, but the people there are um, when people are taken aboard the ship. Here's the hybrid. So they have a handler who's human. Oftentimes, that handler might be the woman or someone who's close to that that hybrid entity they they pair them up they drop them out in the walmart at two in the morning and this is the way they're integrated because they don't grow up here they grow up in the ships or the second heaven so now they're here and they don't know what a pen is they don't know what wow. a pen is. okay wow is they're integrated I'll, I'll tell you another story this woman yeah. This woman was in a neighborhood, nice middle class neighborhood, and the she had neighbors that moved in, very strange neighbors. They never, they didn't, they didn't weren't really seen, and there were instead of curtains in the windows, there were like tablecloths or 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 towels and things like that. It's kind of strange. So you know, she being sort of a Mrs. Kravitz type type individual decides to go over with like a cake or some food or whatever, and she knocks on the door. And the woman answers and they begin a conversation and she's kind of looking in the house and the house is like, it's, it's not set up. It's weird looking. It's, it's, it's strange. And as they're talking, the woman's face shapeshifts into an alien 
and she slams the door on the woman who brought the food. The next morning, they're gone. The next morning, they're gone. Here's another one. So this guy is, is in some, like a construction type deal. They're going to lunch They're in his pickup truck. His friend is sitting next to him in the pickup truck. So they go to a fast food place. They go to window one. We all know the drill. They placed their order. They pay for the thing. Now they're at the pickup. So he looks over. There's a woman there. Nothing extraordinary about her. And she he reaches over and gets the first, you know, the bag and gives it to his friend. So he, reaches, he looks back and, and he gets ready to pick the bag up from the window. He gets the bag and he's looking at the window at the woman and he's, he's saying, thank you. Her face shifts. Half the face becomes iridescent and alien. The other face is human. She re They look at each other. She realizes she's been outed. He freaks out. She freaks out. She covers her face, backs away from the window, and runs out of the back part of the fast food place. One of the co-workers does this, like a quick head turn as she, as she runs by. David, they're, they're integrating. They're here. And they are appearing. Um, yeah, you, you know, Ella, I, this is in my book, and I want to share it just real quick uh, with you because I don't think I've shared it with you. Is I was driving uh, through the upper part of Texas on the freeway, and I got pulled over by a, a young man. He was, a, I guess, a highway patrol, a good looking, I'm talking about super good looking young guy. And he said, uh, he asked me for a license. He said, come back and, and sit with me in my car, you know, sit next to me. And I did. And he's sitting there and he, his facial features, L.A. looked, I mean, they were almost perfect, you know, and he started asking me questions. He says, what do you have in your car? And I said, well, just my clothes and stuff. He said, can I look? And I said, uh, in, in, uh, in my car? He goes, yeah. I said, well, no. And he looked at me again. He said, can I look? And I said, no. And he looked at me again. And he had these dark eyes, L.A., these dark eyes. And then I looked over and I saw his partner, which I'd never seen before, walking around in a circle, walking around in a circle outside the car. And his partner comes and sits in the back seat behind me, which you would never do as a police never officer. Do. And he too looked perfect. He looked, these two looked beautiful. They looked beautiful. And he kept asking me like a robot, uh, can I look in your car? And I said, uh, and finally I said, do I have to let you? And he looked at me and goes, no. And I, I, I'm sharing this with you because it was bizarre. Um, now, there was something in my car. I can't tell you what it was. It wasn't illegal or immoral, but it was something spiritual that was important. And, and I don't know if that had anything to do with it. But, yeah, I th I've encountered these. I've encountered uh, what I believe to be hybrids. I'll tell you another story. Uh, and I realize, you know, this, this is... This is fantastic, and I, and I get that. People can choose to believe it or not. That's why we made the fourth film in this series, because it 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 peels back. There are four people. There's no collusion with them at all, and they're all talking about this, and they've all been taken, and they're deeply troubled by it, and there's no one to talk to. And that's why we're releasing the film soon, because we know that there's countless other people that have had the same experience, and they, they keep it within themselves. They don't say anything. They're afraid to talk about it. It's time to let the cat out of the bag and let people know that this is real. It ties into the biblical prophetic narrative that we find in our Bible. It's all about the seed. It ties into Daniel chapter 2. So here's another story for you. This woman is shopping at Walmart. It's always at Walmart, right? Shopping at Walmart. And I call this UFO brain fog because when we're around hybrids or demonic activity, it, we're not used to this. And it's hard to think clearly. And obviously, this, the people in this aisle are no longer thinking clearly. So this woman's shopping in an aisle. There's a couple of other people with her in the aisle at Walmart, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. All of a sudden, from the, from the top of the aisle, walking towards her is a 12-foot woman, a woman who is 12 feet tall. She's dressed really well. It's not a guy on in drag and on stilts. I mean... She's well proportioned, but she's 12 feet tall. How do we know this? Because the woman is about five foot six, and she came up to this giant's waist. Did anybody else see her? Yeah, 
the everybody and there were two or three other people in the aisle. Everyone stopped what they're doing and watched her come down the aisle. And when she turned and left, they all went back to shopping. Wow. Well, you know, I go brain fog. I go to Walmart all the time, and I think I see most of the Nephilim uh, <laughs> there. Uh, you know, both the, both the customers and the people that work there. Um, so they're among us. Uh, and now I want to talk about disclosure. There's going to come a point because you talk about this a lot, and we do in our interviews, where this there it's going to be disclosed. Um, tell me about disclosure. Can you give me the pivotal moment, not moment, but the pivotal, um, give me a scenario of how you think it could unfold. Well, the late David Flynn and I, we did converse. I never met him, but we did converse on the telephone. This is back in the 90s. So it's before Skype and Zoom and all this. So we had several conversations, uh, you know, on, on the telephone. I mean, David David's site was incredible there. Watch your website. It's, we called our film series Watchers in sort of paying him homage because David, uh, the, the late David Flynn, was a pioneer in all of this. I think they took him out. You think they took him out because he was exposing too much yeah. of it? Yeah, I, I really do. Okay. Well, when we come back, I want to talk to you about the Antichrist, how it ties into this disclosure and some scripture, because there is a scripture, I think, that talks about it. Uh, we're talking to L.A. Marzulli, uh, what I consider an expert in these end times uh, investigations when it comes to uh, the alien demon connection. What exactly is it? What's disclosure? And he also unveils and reveals this uh, abduction, which we're going to talk about even more. Okay, so I want you to stay with me. I'm David Heaven, and we'll be right back. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm excited to announce my original My Slippers are back in stock. You've made them a huge success, and now I've added smaller sizes, larger sizes, wide sizes, and all new colors. And with your promo code, you still save $90 a pair. Not only that, I'm having the biggest closeout sale ever on our sandals and slides for as low as $19.98. What makes my slippers different is my exclusive four layer design that you're not going to find in any other slippers. My slippers patented layers make them ultra comfortable, extremely durable, and they help reduce stress on your feet. Wear them anytime, anywhere. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen now. Use your promo code to save $90 on my original My Slippers or for as low as $19.98, you can get our sandals or slides. Quantities won't last long, and with my 60-day money-back guarantee, you can rest assured they'll be the most comfortable footwear you'll ever own. Hey everybody, this is David Hevener, and I'm proud to announce the release of my brand new TV series, The Last Evangelist, exclusively on davidhevener.tv. Apprehended a total of 13 for cooperating. Here are the weapons. Just a pipe. Jordan, it's okay. Just do whatever they say. Oh my God. Providing support material to terrorists. We were just handing out Bible. This is an illegal translation. You're going to be going away for a very long time. Subscribe now. Go to davidhevener.tv. They've made many, many movies about aliens, but the question is, are they angelic or demonic? Why don't they want to acknowledge uh, the supernatural? Uh, the seminary education today, that when pastors are being trained, there's no emphasis on the supernatural, even though the Bible's a supernatural book. As in the days of the Bible, no, uh, so it will be. Yeah. And it goes down to, well, what is their ultimate purpose? Inaugurate the Antichrist. Hey everybody, David, hey, uh, back again. Listen, don't forget about this new End Times Investigation uh, DVD, eight hours of footage with a lot of my buddies on here, uh, the late great Russ Dizdar. LA's on here. We talk about uh, the uh, Illuminati New World Order. We talk about the alien demon connection. Eight hours. I want you to, to take a look at this because, man, when the internet blows up, you need a hard asset. Don't forget about the um, uh, Last Evangelist TV series, the episode one. It's here. You can get it on DVD or you can watch it on davidhevener.tv. Just go to davidhevener.tv forward slash order. Call um, uh, 844-806-0006. Or you can just text the word chosen to 91 
999. Uh, so we're talking about the alien demon connection. What is it? We're talking about abduction. Is it real? And now we're going to go into disclosure. Folks, disclosure, I want you to listen to this because this is how the Antichrist, I believe, and I believe L.A. believes this, is going to uh, rear, uh, raise his ugly head. L.A., what is disclosure? How will how do you think it will come to be? Well, there's there's certainly a part. This is a scenario. Uh, I'm not saying it's the scenario because I don't have a crystal ball and nobody knows. But as I said earlier before the break, the late David Flynn and I discussed this um, via telephone. And David believed, as I do, that there was going to be some sort of a nuclear event on the planet, some sort of a nuclear event on the planet that and you remember when Hiroshima and Nagasaki happened, you know, decades and decades and decades ago at the end of World War II, we didn't have the satellite communications like we do today. If there's a nuke that goes off, they'll light the grid up. Everything will stop. All eyes will be there. That's when they show up, in my opinion, because a nuke event on this planet will create the greatest, it, the greatest amount of collective fear that we've mm -hmm. ever had in modernity. This will do it. This will go, because people will go, oh my God, they're going to fry us all? And what's alarming about this, David, is just recently in the last several months, they're saber-rattling with nukes. They're talking, you know, yeah. well, we'll start, you know, Putin's saying it. I mean, what what are we looking at here? My God. Yeah. So it's, it's unprecedented what we're seeing. Yeah, I want to read 2 Thessalonians 2, uh, 3, and 4. 2 Thessalonians 2, 3, and 4, Spencer. Uh, don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the man doomed to destruction. He will oppose and will exalt himself over everything that is called God or is worshipped, so that he sets himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God, L.A., could this be part of the disclosure? Could this man of sin be part Nephilim? What say you? Uh, the late Chuck Missler, and I completely concur with him, believed and, and, and spoke about this at conferences. He believed that the so-called Antichrist would boast some sort of an alien connection, and I completely concur with that. Is he a hybrid? I don't know. Possibly. Um, you remember, it's the seed of the dragon, the offspring of the dragon. So right. essentially, he's not he's not fully human as as we would um, we would call a human being. He would be mm -hmm. a hybrid. He would be essentially, in my opinion, a nephilim, a modern day nephilim, because yeah. he's the seed of the dragon, the son of perdition. He's the yeah. seed of the dragon, and this is one of my favorite verses. And Gary Stearman and I have gone around and around on this thing for ever since I've known Gary. Don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for that day will not come. What day? The day of the Lord and our gathering to him will not come uh, until the rebellion, the apostasia. That word rebellion is apostasia in the Greek. I don't speak Greek, but that's one one word I, I've studied almost exhaustively. Um, it does not mean the rapture. It does not mean departing in a physical sense. It means a falling away from. And this begs the question, I've been saying this for decades, what would cause millions of Christians around the world to go, oh, I see, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fall away. Rebellion is, is, you can use rebellion, but falling away, it's the great falling away. And, that, and it's a singular, when you look at it in the Greek, and I've talked to Greek scholars, it's a singular event. It's the falling away. That they will not happen until the great falling away, until the falling away happens, and then the man of sin, the man of lawlessness, is revealed. So right. that begs the question: What would cause the great falling away? Welcome to the Space Brothers. Uh, yeah, I mean, first of all, people are going to fall away from the doctrine, the truth, right? They're going to fall away from true Scripture. They're going to follow the the Bible says the doctrine of devils. So, and you see that now, LA. The, the church system is apostate. They're in a such sad shape. So first, they're falling away from the truth. Second, it's what you said. If you have a, a, a catastrophe happen where there's so much fear into people, then I could see that, that entity stepping up going, okay, we're going to take care of you. Because LA, unless it gets so bad and people have so much fear, they're not going to believe. Somebody can get up and talk and go, God, get out of here. 
but it's got to shock them and it's got to hit us so bad that we got it. We, we're going to say to ourselves, basically, basically, we need someone to save us, right? And and that's look, all this has been prophesied thousands of years ahead of time. And that's why the Bible is unlike any other book on the planet. I call it the guidebook of a supernatural because yeah. it is a guidebook of a supernatural. Yeah. And these, this is prophecy. That's a guidebook. That's part of the guidebook right there. You know, right. Thessalonians uh, 2, 3, and 4. I mean, there it is. It tells us calling out a priori in advance exactly what will happen in the latter days, telling us, you know, and we don't know the particulars of that, but that's right. that prophecy. And by golly, I will hang my hat on that all day long. Yeah. And I talked to Dr. Michael Lake. We talked about this a lot in our interviews. Uh, they'll promise you uh, that you can live 500 years. Uh, you can have high intelligence. Uh, if you'll do this, we will give you this, this, and this. Well, this takes me back as in the days of Noah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> they were, it was hybrids, right? Uh, they were, like you said at the beginning of the interview, that's what they're trying to turn us into. It, 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 it's transmutation, transhumanism, really, and right? That, that's exactly what it is. Why would Jesus warn us that it would be like the days of Noah when he returned? Right. And once again, I mean, you've heard me talk about this ad nauseum. I've been right. banging the drum, and still, let me just let me just give you an example. There are thousands of churches in the Los Angeles area, David. You know that because you've lived here. Right. Thousands of churches in the LA area. Right. In all my years of living here, and it's over almost fifty years now, right? Um, yeah, almost fifty years, and I've been invited to one church to speak. Wow. To all this. One church wow. in, in, in all this time. So it gives you an idea that, you know, I've written books, I create films, I do all this. I, I'm, I'm traveling to Manchester, England this year uh, to speak at a UFO conference with Eric Von Daniken. That's a great honor for me. Prophecy yeah. Watchers down in Orlando, Florida. I believe it's March. And then again um, uh, in, in, in October. Uh, you know, this stuff is happening. And all I can do is appear on programs, create films, do books. I'm warning, warning, warning. And for the most part, it goes on deaf ears. And in fact, a lot of the pastors will look at you and just laugh. Well, that's not a, that has nothing to do with salvation, so we're not going to go there. It has it's, everything to do with salvation. If you don't know the truth, how are you going to be saved? It's, bingo. It's not. like, you know, so, you know, uh, the late, great Russ Dizdar, we, uh. we talked. Yeah, we talked, uh, and um, on one of our interviews, I said, Russ, how many program multiples do, do you, would you say are out there? He said, he, over tens of thousands, okay, over 10,000. LA, and I know it's conjecture to a certain extent, but Nephilim, the mingling of the seed, they're among us. Do you have a number? Do you have any idea how many might be among us right now walking around as we speak? I don't. I, I don't have any idea that, that and that's problematic. Um, we get a lot. I, I a think lot. it is. I, I think I think it's more than we realize. And I also think that and I realize I'm going way out on a limb and people go, L.A., really? I yeah. think there are certain heads of state, heads of governments in government that are actually hybrid entities. Yeah. I've heard stories. You can't go public with it because there's no way to vet it. But there certainly is a possibility. Look. There is a supernatural world, and we're in the end times. We're in the last of the last days. Why should we be surprised at any of this? Yeah. I mean, why should it take us, you know, off guard? It shouldn't. We should be, you know, clear as a bell that it's going to be like the days of Noah. What differentiates the days of Noah? And this is why Genesis 3.15, if you don't understand that, when you get to Jesus saying it'll be like the days of Noah, you don't have a clue. Well, they were eating and drinking. Who are they? It's not men. It's it's the fallen angels coming down and eating and drinking. Jesus points back to the seed war, specifically to the Genesis 6 narrative. Wake up. Wake up. Wow. Wow. L.A., we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to be going underground. I'll be asking some people if they want to raise their hand, if they'd like to ask a question. Um, and uh, I'm going to be asking you, about, uh, you know, I did a lot of interviews with Russ Dizner. I know you and Russ worked together a lot. You were friends. Uh, program multiples. How does that bleed into this alien demon connection? You know, I have some, some thoughts and some things I want to share with you 
which interviewing you, interviewing him, and I want to see what you have to say about this when it comes to program multiples and Sounds the ethylene. Good. Okay, stay with me, L.A. Marzulli. All right, guys, um, listen, I want you to uh, go sign up to davidhevener.tv. It's the only way you're going to watch us. We're going to be disconnecting from uh, all the other platforms. Uh, you can see us on Roku, Amazon, Apple TV. And thank you, all my friends out there. I got a lot of emails from Roku and Apple. I want to thank you guys for joining. Um, but I want you right now to go sign up. If you're brand new signing up, send an email to ad admin at davidhevener.tv, and we'll send you a link. You can get in. Uh, we're going to talk to L.A., we're going to be talking about what I think is going to happen very soon. I don't think we're too far away with this, okay? And it's happening now to people, abduction. They're being abducted. And he's got a new uh, movie coming out that talks about this. And uh, and I'm going to ask him to share this movie with you and to share uh, his... Uh, matter of fact, go ahead and put uh, LA's website up there, uh, Spencer, because I want people to to see how they can, uh, uh, how they can get to him there. And... Um, You've got his website, but when we come back, I'm going to ask him to share his books, his his videos, and exactly how you can get those, and also what he has coming in the pipeline. It's the next movie that's coming out, okay? So I want you to join me. All right. Um, you guys, I love you all. I appreciate you guys. Uh, remember, remember, if you haven't picked up a copy of this uh, End Times Investigations, pick it up, or True Power, uh, I want you to pick that up. Also. Uh, let's go, uh, Spencer, show them uh, Last Evangelist, the website, lastevangelist.com. We're doing episode two. If you guys would like to, um, if you'd like to go in there and you'd like to donate, you'd like to uh, be a producer, an actor, uh, you can donate. It will really help the cause where I'm not going to the studios and God said, go to my people. And that's what I'm doing. So we're doing episode two. It's all about the virus and vaccine. Uh, what's going to happen down the road? What is happening now? Uh, so please help us, help us. We need to get this thing out. Um, also, uh, let's go to davidhevener.tv real quick and just show people, uh, Spencer, um, uh, that they can sign up. Uh, you can sign up and we've got all these different channels on there if you want to scroll down and show them the channels. Matter of fact, we have a channel tonight I'm de dedicating to LA and all of its work and uh, the interviews I've done with them uh and the david heavener uh, investigates segment on aliens demons connection and what about abduction uh i get into details uh, on that so that's david heavener tv all right you guys i love you um and i will uh, we'll see you at the uh, we're taking a break i'll see you at david heavener tv just remember you never really lived till you found someone worth dying for christ jesus <laughs>